What's going on, everybody? This is your host, Demetrius, with the PPP Panthers Prime Podcast. Hey, man, we sent your boy Foreman up to Chi-Town. All we have now is Miles Sanders, Chuba Hubbard, and Raheem Blackshear. Can they get the job done? That's the conversation. Y'all know what time it is. Let's go. All right, man, so let's hop into this conversation right now. All right, so we know that the Carolina Panthers offered Deontay Foreman and Bradley Bozeman a contract on the same day. Bozeman signed. Deontay Foreman said, nah, that ain't enough money. The Chicago Bears came in with a one-year deal for $3 million. I have no clue what the Carolina Panthers offered this man, but uh, I think we could have done a little bit better than our one-year $3 million, considering that nine games, Buddy almost put up 1000 So that's just my opinion. That's how I feel, yo. So let's look at this right here. Can the Carolina Panthers, with the current running back room that we have right now, which includes Miles Sanders, Chuba Hubbard, and Raheem Blackshear, can they get the job done? So let's take a look real quick. The first person that we're going to pull up is Miles Sanders. So Miles Sanders, he had 1,269 yards this past year, 11 touchdowns. His average per carry was 4.9, and that all came in 259 attempts. It was eighth for the whole league. So... You know, he did his thing. I'm not going to lie. He put up a 1,000. That's good. He was on the Philly, Philadelphia Eagles team that we know was a powerhouse when it came down to the run game. You had Jalen Hurt. So there was a lot of, I want to say, um, uh, loose eyes on the defense when it came down, when it came down to uh, seeing who had the ball or who did. You know, when I watched Miles Sanders last year, he wasn't just bouncing out to the edge. He wasn't just bouncing out to the sideline. This dude was running up the middle of the field as well, uh, which leads me to believe that he's not afraid of contact. Uh, he'll take the contact just like we've seen Deontay Foreman do it, just like we've seen Christian McCaffrey do it. He's not afraid. And when we look at his uh, his stature, this dude is 5'11", 211 pounds, man. That's, you know, that could be unofficial, but that's what they got right now on uh, online. So, I mean, he's not a big, big dude, you know. I mean, he's not, but he's solid. And he's not afraid of contact, which is the one thing I know Deuce Daly is hype about because he coached them while they were both at the Eagles. But when it comes down to Miles Sanders, I do believe that the Carolina Panthers made a good move with picking him up to at least start to move forward with how our running back room is going to look. All right, so let's take a look at Chuba Hubbard. So Chuba Hubbard had 95 attempts, worth 466 yards, two touchdowns, 4.9 yards per carry. Uh, Chuba Hubbard is listed at 6'1", 210. Chuba Hubbard ain't no scrub. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought he was. I thought he was. That's true. I thought he was. When I watched him the year prior when we still had Christian, I would, I would be like, man, why we even drafted this dude or, or signed this dude, man? Like, he can't even get past the line of scrimmage. Like, to me, his first year, he was total trash. I could not stand when they would put him in. And I think that that's the reason why um, we saw McCaffrey get so many, you know, touches in the game, man. I mean, if he didn't get 100 touches, he was right at about 99, 98. So, but we've seen the evolution of Chuba Hubbard. And I'm going to tell you what game really surprised me. It was the Bucks game in Carolina last year. Uh, when we beat the Bucks. I think it was 21 or 25 to 3, whatever the score was. But the running tandem that we had, was just stupid that day. We seen Chuba Hubbard really come into his own. All right, so let's get into the last one. Hey, listen, Raheem Blackshear, that's really my dude, man. I'm not going to lie. The little dude be running, man. Hey, I watched him in that Lions game. Dude was tearing him up, man, and he's a threat to catch the ball as well, man. Y'all go watch that Lions game. Yeah, we ran the ball crazy, but there was a couple plays where Raheem Blackshear was a threat of catching the ball, you know, out the backfield as well, man. So y'all, y'all go check that Lions game out. But let's look at his stats real quick from 2022. So 2022, Raheem Blackshear had 23 attempts for 77 yards, three touchdowns, so one more touchdown than Chuba Hubbard. And remember, Chuba Hubbard had 466 yards. So he had one more touchdown than Chuba, and his average per carry is 3.3. Raheem Blackshear is listed. Now, I, I don't know if this is official. Probably at that time. Probably ain't how it is now, but it was official at that time of 5'9", 190. I don't think he's 190. I think he's more more close to like 200. Seeing the type of running back that he is, 
I believe that the Carolina Panthers made an excellent move in just retaining him. Yeah, he was up on the contract, but you know how the NFL is. It's a business. If they want you gone, you know, they'll, they'll finagle it to get you gone. I think that keeping Chuba as well as Raheem Blackshear was a great move. Do I think that Carolina will probably draft another running back? I think so, because I do believe that they may move one of those two, either Chuba or Raheem Blackshear, back over to punt returner. I, I just believe that. I, I think that Raheem Blackshear, more than Chuba Hubbard, will probably be uh, a punt returner in 2023. So just look out for that. So uh, what do you guys think? You guys love the Carolina Panthers running, I'm not going to say tandem, I'm going to say triple threat. You know, Miles Sanders, uh, Chuba Hubbard, and Raheem Blackshear. You know, throw it in the comments below, man. Let us know how you feel. And guys, I appreciate you guys. Um, you know, this is appreciation post as well uh, for getting me over 100 subs. Uh, and really, I started this page in January 26. I posted my first video maybe shortly after that and you know we're already over 100 and really all that came from last week so i really do appreciate you guys let's continue to uptick the numbers once i get to 500 i'm gonna do a giveaway i'm not gonna say what the giveaway is but it'll be it'll be good you know i'll probably give that giveaway information out next week uh, so y'all look out for that but i will be doing an appreciation to a sub once we get to 500 subs all right so y'all know what time it is. This is your boy Demetrius with the PPP Panthers Prime Podcast. You know what time it is. Let's go. Let's go.